Willingdon kids. So we saw in the skit earlier that Evelyn was hoping for a wonderful party where all of us friends could eat a yummy dinner together. We also saw how disappointed she got when the food didn't turn out right, when her kids made a huge mess and all of her friends couldn't come to the party. Have you ever hoped for anything and it didn't happen? Hope kind of means like you're expecting something, waiting, wanting something to happen. Sometimes it's when you're doing that in the middle of difficulty as well. See, I hoped to go on a wonderful family vacation this past spring. I told you guys before about the story of how we planned to go on a big spring break vacation to California, to go hang out at the beach with my family, to go to Disneyland. I was so excited to go. And I wanted to go real bad. I was waiting to go, hoping in it. Definitely putting my hope in this vacation. You know, I really hoped that we could have a day camp this year, but that didn't happen either. See, the Bible is filled with examples of hope too. God's people were hoping that someone would save them from sin. They knew that they were in trouble for disobeying. They knew that they were separated from God and they knew that sin was a big deal. Someone needed to help them get close to God again. And they were hoping for this for hundreds of years. When God finally did answer their prayers and send Jesus, it was definitely unexpected. You see, Jesus came as a little baby, not as a mighty warrior or a mighty king or a wise old priest. The Israelites hoped for someone to get rid of the invading enemy soldiers. They were hoping for a powerful king to rule them. They were hoping for someone to bring them close to God again. They were hoping for all those things, but God sent his son to be born of a virgin named Mary, which in itself was unexpected too. I would probably guess that Mary and her fiance Joseph were hoping to get married, hoping to have a normal life and start a normal family in the normal way. They hoped for one thing, but they got something else instead when the angel made that announcement. I can imagine how hopeless Joseph might have felt, thinking that he would have to leave Mary. Sounds like our examples we talked about earlier. Hoping for one thing, but getting something else. But the fact is, God did the best thing. He made the right decision. He gave us exactly what we needed. Even though we might hope for something and we want it really, really bad, we know that God loves us and wants what's best for us and always gives us the best kind of hope. Joseph and Mary learned this, and they trusted, obeyed, and did exactly what God wanted them to do. And that's what it means to put our hope in God, to do what God wants us to do, to wait for him, and want the same things he wants. Vacations can get canceled, presents can get destroyed, or parties aren't allowed. So instead of hoping for a vacation, or hoping for a present, or even hoping for a party, we can put our hope in God. He won't let us down. Here is a verse from Romans 15 in the Bible. This is verse 4. Everything written in the past was written to teach us. The scriptures give us strength to go on. They encourage us and give us hope. This is why we love the Bible so much. When we read about who God is, what he's done, and what his people did, we can learn how we can follow him and be a part of his story too. As you spend time celebrating Christmas this year, this is our prayer for you, again from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God who gives hope fill you with great joy. May you have perfect peace as you trust in him. May the power of the Holy Spirit fill you with hope.